And it is time to look at some of the top political stories of the week. And here to break it all down for us is Democratic uh, political consultant Tony Connie and Republican political consultant Marcus Dellartino. Thank you both for being here. Um, big stories of the week. I mean, Kirsten Cinema, <laughs> you know, uh, deciding that uh, she no longer wants to be a Democrat. She registered as an independent on Friday, she announced. Uh, Tony, I want to start with you as the Democrat. Uh, on the surface, it doesn't look like this is going to change any dynamics in the Senate because Democrats, fresh off celebrating that they retain control of that chamber, um, cinema is, you know, puts a little, is this a little cold water on that victory? Well, I actually think part of the reason why she made the announcement now is because of the fact that Democrats increased their lead in the Senate. And, you know, frankly, I think that she's lost some of the leverage that she had before. And so this is a way to try and get some of that leverage back. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think, you know, the president made a statement this morning about it. I think that they're going to continue to work together. You know, she's had a pretty successful legislative year, and uh, the Democrats have too. And so, you know, it's just uh, it's some real political drama, but I think in the Senate it's going to be fine. So does this up her political um, power now um, in the Senate by doing something like this? I, yeah, yeah, I think a little bit. Um, you know, sir, I mean, look at the news coverage for God's sakes, just in the last 24 hours. Um, so I, I think it sort of moves her up. And, and look, clearly Joe Biden enjoys, and the White House enjoys working with her because she moves the agenda forward. So I expect a healthy relationship there as well. Yeah, and I, but the, I think one of the big questions right now is what does this do for a potential uh, t for 2024? Um, we know that Ruben Gallego, Congressman Gallego, has been rumored. Uh, to be potentially challenging her in a primary. Uh, her numbers are underwater with a, a lot of her, uh, with her own party. How much of that played into this decision for Kirsten Sinema to go independent? Uh, exactly 100%. I mean, that's what it is. Like, the polling for Sinema is very bad. Mm -hmm. So Democrats can beat her by 40 points in a primary. And she's also underwater with independence, too. And so I think that uh, that's what happened. She looked at the polling and realized she had no path forward, and she made a decision. You know, this isn't some big, you know, thing because she cares about independence and all that kind of stuff. It's because she wants to stay in the Senate, and she thinks that this is her path forward. Uh, I think it makes it really difficult for her to win still, mm -hmm. but it's a better chance than she had if she was going to be facing someone in a primary. Now, if you're Ruben Gallego, though, I'm asking you to think like a Democrat. I know it's very hard for you there, uh, Marcus. <laughs> now, yeah, if, uh, <laughs> now, if you're Ruben Gallego, um, do you jump in? And obviously, you may be able to win the, the primary, but the, that can be pretty difficult, a three-way race in the general, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I don't look. I think he will run in. I mean, it's almost they're begging him to, to jump in the primary for God's sakes. And and the only hang up I would have with that is that he is a dad of, of a young uh, child, and you know I think it's not the best timing from a family standpoint. But forget that for a second. Yeah, I think he's going to run. That means if Republicans put up a far right candidate. Um, and you, against a progressive uh, like Ruben, you, certainly she stands a chance. Do you think she stands a chance? I mean, in a three-way race, I know people loved uh, the idea of the independent coming yeah. out. Um, but when you look at something like that, you've got, um, let's say you had a far-right candidate in the general election in 2024, a uh, progressive candidate like Ruben Gallego, uh, the Democrat side. I mean, where does... Where's the math? Where, where are the votes I, for I, Kirsten Sinema? One thing that I'm thinking about is, like, it's going to be a presidential year. And I do not think that any Republican voters are going to switch over and vote for cinema. I mean, some will, but not many. It's not going to be enough. I think she's going to have a really, really hard time winning uh, in, the, in the general. I just don't, I don't think that there's much of a path forward. And, you know, the question is, is she even running? Like, I, she hasn't really said that yet. I mean, I suspect she probably will. But, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of Democrats are, are, are frustrated that she's, you know, made this announcement now because it is she'll pretend like it's not about politics but it is 100 percent a political decision well i should i should mention too like on friday she was asked whether she was uh, uh, gonna run for re-election and she did say to tony's point that uh, she wasn't thinking about electoral politics at this point now you know <laughs> i would ask you if you all believe that or whatnot but the let, let viewers make draw their own conclusions i do want to ask you though marcus uh, you were talking a little bit earlier uh, before the show before the taping about how this could jump start some uh, some sort of a movement if Kirsten Cinema was able to go through with this and win. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And first of all, let me tell you what's laughable about this whole thing is Kirsten Cinema votes with Joe Biden 93% of the time. I think Mark Kelly's at 94% of the time. So this is a, this cracks me up. But that being said, let's just say she wins. 
I think there's a potential it starts a movement where you start to see legislative candidates, maybe county supervisors, other elected offices start to run as independents. And the other thing is, I'm not confident there's not another shoe to drop. What if Manchin announces next week that he's going independent? What if Mitt Romney announces the week after that that he's going to go independent? We don't know any of these things right now, but they do, they do if, if they all come together, begin a movement, which is a direct threat to the both of the establishment parties, right? Which they want to keep their money in their power. There is no doubt about it. So you're going to watch those two actually work together to attack anything that's remotely close to being an independent candidate. And do you think this draw, could potentially draw out some, you know, I'm asking the Democrat here, some more Republican that maybe taking a look at this going, oh, hey, yeah, I'm this, sure this could be an opportunity. Oh, yeah. If you, if, you were, if you were nervous about running before, you're thinking about running now. And I think, you know, especially because once they start looking at the polling, they'll realize that cinema isn't only having a hard time with progressive Democrats. That's sort of a narrative that the national media pushes. She is struggling with independents, and she is struggling with conservative and moderate Democrats. W what's happening here is that people have grown frustrated with sort of the way that she behaves as senator. It's not so much about the votes. It's about sort of the way that she has, you know, kind of, you know, that she wore a, an F offering, right? Like, there's yeah. all these things. Like, oh, sorry. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I, and I think that's been very frustrating for people who have been supporters of hers. And I've never seen the switch happen so fast. Mm -hmm. I saw polling before she ran in the primary. And her numbers with Democrats, even though she was a conservative Democrat, were very, very strong. And right now, they're terrible. I'm going to leave you with you. We're almost out of time here, so make it quick. But uh, your insider information on Republican Party, um, any big <laughs> names you could see jump into this race that maybe nobody's thinking about? Oh, well, first of all, you just got to go back and look at the Senate run and assume that, you know, Blake Masters is thinking about it. I would assume Kerry Lake's thinking about it. I would think every... I would... There's a long list. I'm pretty sure Matt Salmon's thinking about it. I can go on and on, but uh, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for not going on and on there, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> At that, that is all the time we have tonight. But be sure to join us next week for more Politics Unplugged. Good night.